Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison. I hope you're doing so, so well today. Look at what we have to eat today. Now you're probably thinking, what is all this random food in front of you, girl? Today's video is a special collaboration video with five other mukbangers here on YouTube. I'm gonna introduce them here in a minute, but today's mukbang is themed around snacks. All of us are going to be doing different versions of our favorite snacks, especially themed around like cheap snacks kind of stuff. So <laughs> I am going to explain everything that I have chosen to eat today. But first, let me get into the amazing mukbangers that I am collabing with today. First up, we've got Dina from Live to Blend. She is so adorable. I cannot get over her. She's got the cutest little hair and she does reviews. She did a pickle review not too long ago. <laughs> Love it. And she is from Pennsylvania. Where do school supplies go on vacation? Pennsylvania. <laughs> You're welcome. Next up, we've got Angela from Angela Eats. She is so gorgeous, so sweet and kind, down to earth. She does mukbangs, car mukbangs. She does mukbangs with her family. She does some vlogs here and there. She's got a great channel. She's from Oregon, go check her out. Next up, we've got Sarah Bana from Your Everyday Foodie. What's up, you guys? It's Your Everyday Foodie. He is a mukbanger out in Arizona, and he does mukbangs, reviews, and he reviews food. <laughs> He's the best at reviewing food. If you ever want to know exactly what something tastes like, go watch his channel. He also did the chip, Pocky chip challenge. No, ma'am, can't do it. So I live vicariously through that video. He is awesome and he's got this really fun hairdo. I love it so much. Next, we've got Terry from Hungry Terry. She is a mukbanger out in California. She does food challenges, mukbangs. She's so super kind. I love her so much. She actually did the 100 cookie challenge. Oh my God, I can't, I'd be so sick. But anyways, if you like food challenges, go check her out. And then last, but most certainly not least, my boy Snoopy Eats, black all black, always look at crispy. Snoopy Eats does mukbangs, food challenges. He does a lot of live streams. So if you like live streaming and like hanging out with somebody who's really, really chill and fun, please go subscribe to his channel, he is awesome. Okay, so now that I've got all that out of the way, let's get into our food. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I decided to center my snack mukbang around foods that I've kind of like grown up eating that were so super simple to make all the way up until now, like a snack that I would make for myself. So do you see what I'm saying? Like a snack that I, that I would eat as a kid all the way up until a snack that I would make for myself now. The very first thing that I used to eat all the time as a kid is sticky rice. This is actually basmati rice. I was, I'm out of my sticky rice because I eat sticky rice all the time. So this is actually basmati rice and we always had rice growing up in the house. So I would always be eating rice because rice rice is so good. So I'd pop it in the microwave and I'd put ketchup on it <laughs> and I would eat the heck out of some sticky rice and ketchup. Oh yeah, baby. Mm, mm. Oh, I got an onion in there from my pasta. Mm. So that is amazing. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, are you okay? I dropped you. I'm so sorry. Oh no. <laughs> sorry about that. I need more ketchup. <laughs> Story of my life. This is going to be a very ketchup heavy mukbang. I freaking adore ketchup so much. Almost as much as vegan ranch. Can you believe it? Mm. Mm. I love rice and ketchup. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so this this was from like elementary school status, like hard. Okay, so I had to readjust. Next we have spaghetti with just plain sauce. And I also put some onions in there because you know I'm a freak and can't have anything without onions. Um, but, <laughs> okay, they're gonna hate me. But I also, <laughs> okay, I also put ketchup on my pasta. You, I, I, okay. I would eat this all the time as a kid. I would literally just make it because I could put, put, put it in the microwave, put, put, I could put it in the microwave and just eat it just like this. Just 
marinara or tomato sauce, pasta, and ketchup. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the weirdest mukbang I've ever done, you guys. I'm not even kidding. So strange. But you know what? Here we are. touching the cord just put that right there there we go please tell me please tell me that I'm not the only ketchup freak in the world I cannot be like somebody else out there in the universe has to put ketchup on their pasta right <laughs> mm. I love it so much okay Okay, so I have to stop eating the pasta because I don't want to get too full because I want to move on. Okay, now in college, <laughs> this was my favorite thing to eat. I would get regular sliced bread, mayo, relish, a hot dog. These are the Frankfurters, the field roast. These are vegan. And then I would put ketchup on it. Okay, wait, I'm not done. And onion oh I'm so excited this is the one I'm most excited about I haven't had this in so long I usually make like just like fancy hot dogs you know but this is the way to go regular bread you don't need a hot dog bun you don't need all that fancy shit ketchup mayo relish or just chopped up pickles and onions <laughs> mm. okay yeah <laughs> Mmm. 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 The nostalgia is coming through hard right now. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. <sighs> there it is. I was like, "What?" I was about to burp and nothing came out. I think this is my choker is prohibiting my burps from escaping. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now these right here, these this is inspired by kind of like a I'm using what I have to make a snack out of. This right here, I'm gonna call these Mexican egg rolls because I used, um, let's see, actually I wanna eat this one. I used um, vegan chorizo, corn, onions, bell peppers, mushrooms, and I chopped them up and sauteed it. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, wow. And then I sauteed it. What else? Oh, my God. And I used these, like, leftover wrappers that I had from when I made Chico Rolls for my fish and chips mukbang. Oh, my God. And then, because you know your girl loves her some ranch, I made cilantro Cholula ranch. You guys... Look at that. Oh my god. 
holy shit I also put some day of cheese in these. Wow, these are so good. And then I put green Cholula in the ranch. If you want to know how to make vegan ranch, I'm going to put it right here. It's so simple. Just watch that video. It's a simple, simple recipe. And it's so good. Mm. So instead of the vinegar that I would normally put in ranch, I just used hot sauce because hot sauce has tons of vinegar, like Cholula. Mm. I can't I can't believe this. Wow. Mmm. <coughs> Holy moly. Oh my god! I almost forgot something. Oh shit! This snack right here, you guys. This was my everyday go-to snack of life when I lived in Hawaii. I'm not even kidding. Let me tell you how to do this, okay? Raw ramen. And this flavor right here is the soy sauce flavor. It's the only vegan flavor because all the other flavors have milk in them. Story of my life. Everything has milk in it. Um, so <laughs> this is the soy sauce flavor. So this is what you would do. Now, this is simple, but I'm not, I can't do it right here because it'll shake the camera. But maybe I'll just do it right here. So what you do is you take your ramen in the package. Oh, it's too, and you pound it like this. Okay. <laughs> okay are you following along okay and then you get it and you open it up so you want to be careful that you don't you just open the top like you don't split it down the middle and then you get your packet out you want to look in there and make sure you don't have like too big a chunks in there Please tell me I'm not the only one who's done this before. And then you get your soy sauce packet or your flavor packet. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so weird, I swear. Okay, and then you put this bad boy in there. Okay. Okay. And then you shake it up. Oh my God, I, would, I just have memories of taking this to school with me and just like eating it on the bus on the way to school. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I haven't eaten this since I was a kid. Oh my God. Okay. And then you just eat it just like this. Oh, salty. Oh my God. I'm tasting my childhood right now. Mm. Mm. Holy moly. <laughs> well, that's all I'll be having of that, but I had to share. You guys, these egg rolls are nothing to fuck with. I'm not even kidding. Wow. I need more ketchup. <laughs> I don't really use ketchup in my mukbangs, so I guess you guys don't really know what a freak I am about ketchup. I just love sauce. Like, I love sauce on everything. What are your favorite weird cheap snacks? I have to know. I'm so excited to see what everybody else is making. I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Mm. You can't have any, Kaya. I'm sorry. You can't have any. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Wow. This is the weirdest meal. I never thought I'd eat anything like this. <laughs> I 
And then tomorrow I have this very special video. I can't wait. Um, I don't know when I'm going to post it, but I'm going to film it tomorrow. But it has to do with dessert. So stay tuned. Vegan dessert. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Let's eat one more of these. Actually, I want to eat this one. So this one um, had a hole in it right here. So I had to patch it up with another little piece of wonton strip. I had to give it a Band-Aid and do some surgery on it. <laughs> Yum. Let's put lots of ranch on this bad boy. Lots and lots of ranch. Ranch. <laughs> oh, yes, queen. Okay. Yum. Okay. <laughs> These are so good. I can't wait. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait. What am I waiting for? I don't know. This was like a really random recipe. Mm. Oh my God. You know what I mean? This, I mean, taking this to the next level. What the freak, Madison? Avocado. Why didn't I put avocado in here? Oh, I have avocado. Mm. Oh well. Still really good. Mm. Hi, baby. Also, another snack that I like super love is leftover pizza. Cold with mustard on it. <laughs> Don't hate me. People like freak out when I tell them that. I'm like, but it's so good. It's really good. You should try it. I have like some tanginess to it, you know? My poor dog, she's like, give me some food, mom. I want some yum yum yums. No, you can't have any. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm so full. Let me kick back for a second. I ate so fast. I say that in every freaking mukbang. I'm like, I'm so full. I ate so fast. <laughs> and plus sparkling water isn't helping anything. It makes me full faster. Also, I'm out of water. So, one second. This is absolutely hilarious to me. I'm not even kidding. I literally used to eat this all the time because we had we had ramen everywhere. Now, in Hawaii, we called ramen was called Simon. So we would always call it Simon. And my stepdad would go hard on some Simon. He's always eating it. And he'd like make it fancy with like green onions. He put hot dogs and eggs in there. <laughs> or cup of noodle. We always had cup of noodle. Always. We always had hot dogs. My mom said that one time um, I had friends over to the house and like she walked into the kitchen and she saw me and like three of my friends and I had them all gathered around the kitchen, uh, around the fridge in the kitchen. And she said that I was passing them out hot dogs one by one raw hot dogs from the fridge. And I was like, here, eat them, here, eat them. And then we were all just like hum, 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 eating, eating hot dogs. And my mom's like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Oh, uh, I was weird. Mm. This is my favorite. These field roast frankfurters are so fucking good. I should not be eating anymore. I'm so stuffed. But I'm going to do it. You guys, what food should I make? I want to hear from a non-vegan. And I want you to give me a challenge. 
of something to make. Now, I'm not talking about like, ooh, steaks or ribs, even though you could make vegan versions of it, but like, you know, something. Like, and I'm not gonna make this because I'm over pasta right now. I had this pasta and then pasta in my last mukbang, but like spaghetti bolognese or something. Like, what are some foods that you love that you never would have thought could be turned to vegan? I wanna make it. I also want to get back into my fast food recreations. So I'm going to be doing one of those here soon. If I have time. Mm hmm. Mm. This is so good. Mm. All right. Is there something on my chin? I can't tell. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Gosh, you guys, I took off my makeup, I started editing my video, and I totally forgot to tell you guys to please go check out the amazing people that I collabed with today. All of their links to their videos will be in the description down below, so please go subscribe and show all of them some love. Hungry Terry, your everyday foodie, Snoopy Eats, Angela Eats, and Live to Blend. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you later. Bye!